हेलो व्यूवर वेलकम टू मेडिसिन प्लस कैन यू गेस द टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन इन दिस केस फर्स्ट लेट एस लुक एट दस हिस्ट्री A 30-year-old male with recently diagnosed aplastic anemia presented to the emergency department with a two-day history of fever, non-pruritic rash, and ankle and knee pain. Ten days before the onset of the symptom, he had completed a course of horse anti-thymocyte globulin as treatment for his aplastic anemia. His body temperature was 39.6 degrees Celsius. Physical examination was notable for a morbidly formed rash across his torso as seen in panel A and panel B and a purpuric rash on the legs as seen in panel C. Mild swelling was noted in periorbital region but the mucous membrane were not involved. Laboratory studies were notable for a worsening of neutropenia, low C3 and C4 levels and a C-reactive protein level of 114 mg per liter and negative blood cultures were observed. Now the question is, what is the type of hypersensitivity reaction is most likely responsible for this patient's clinical presentation? Is it type 1, type 2, type 3 or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction or this is not a hypersensitivity reaction? A clinical diagnosis of serum sickness was made here. Now serum sickness is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction due to formation of antigen antibody or immune complexes. The condition classically occurs after the therapeutic administration of non-human proteins and manifests as a triad of fever, rash and arthralgia as seen in this case. After a 5-day course of intravenous glucocorticoids, the patient's symptom had resolved. Horse antithymocyte globulin was added to the patient list of drug allergies and not to be used again. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting cases.